right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. We're going to test out the new LR Dragon Ball Z Kid Gohan. I think that this Gohan is very good. Um, I would say that, like, right now, he doesn't have a lot of the best setups for him. I In the showcase videos, I mean, you guys would probably understand. I mean, literally, I was talking about this with Gresh, and he thought the same thing. I do like to show these guys off on 200% leader skills for the showcase, right? Um, I mean, we could, like, his actual best team, I think, would be Yamcha's team. Um, and remember, Gohan really wants either Goku, um, or he wants, uh, basically anyone on here, right? Tien, Krillin, Yamcha, Goku, or Piccolo to get his unit super attack, so we could really, you know, begin to stack up his stats a lot. Um, Gohan, I think we need a couple of more characters, and Gohan is gonna settle into some roles a lot better, right? Uh, because he only has... He only has two 200% leader skills right now, I believe. And that's the hybrid team and his own team are, are the only two, right? Because it's like, yeah, he gets hybrids from Ultimate Gohan. He's not on the 200% Goku family, like, from uh, Bardock, right? He's not on, like, Powerful Comeback or anything like that. He's not on Bond of Friendship. So he's not on uh, the Path to Power Kid Goku's 200%. Right, this Gohan just doesn't have a wide variety of 200% leader skills at the moment. He's not on Battle of Fate, so he's not on Vegeta and Trunks' is, you know, 200%, right? Um, now, this Gohan mostly is going to be eating off of a Piccolo. So, this guy, I, I mean, it is crazy. I I feel like I want to say Android 8 is still the number one banner unit, but, like, this Piccolo is just actually so dumb. And it's like, he works so good with all these super top-tier characters, right? Like, you, you can make an argument maybe this guy above Android 8, because it's like, uh, Android 8 works so good with Kid Goku, right? Who's still, like, a top 10 unit in the game or top 10 contender. But, like, Piccolo is, like, working good with, like, a lot more top-tier units than Android 8 is, right? And Piccolo's, like, supporting and guarding and doing all that. It is crazy because it's, like, no one was surprised by this Piccolo either. Day one, we were, like, uh, what the hell is this? Like, we all knew. It was, like, oh, my God, dude. This Piccolo is insane. What a beast he is. And then it's like, you know, when he came out during that Worldwide Down Celebration, little court issues here, you know, <laughs> my bad, uh, silly, silly Billy here. Uh, but, you know, we weren't able to activate a lot of his links at the time, but it's like, yeah, we we know that Dragon Ball Super Superhero stuff is coming up, right? So, like, we're going to be able to use these links and stuff like that very soon, and then now we are able to. So, of course, um, Orange Piccolo is going to work very well here. That was kind of a long intro, my bad, <laughs> my bad. Uh, this is perfect, okay. Um, Orange Piccolo, of course, links really well with him. Um, okay, I, we'll, we'll pl I do want to get the DBZ Gohan intro in here, so let's go. Trunks! Alright, I do really like Kid Gohan's intro. Um, it is a banger, a lot of nostalgia for me. I do I do really like that. But certainly that felt like that was the worst of the three, right? I think we could say. Dude, I really like if I would I, I'll do another intro tier list, but it's gonna be in like six months or something like I just recently did one, right? But like <clears throat> I, I Orange Piccolo's dude is I I just love I don't know, maybe it's because I I am a huge Piccolo stan. He was such a beast back at the early days of the series. So them just being like, oh, guess what? He's, you know, a, a at the top of the food chain again was pretty sick. Um, Oh, this is really good. Okay, okay. So the showcase Gohan, of course, is going to be mine. Um, I do have the level 10 links. Remember, I did give him full dodge because... I view both of these Carnival LRs as defensive units. Sorry. I mean, people are going to go crazy about the dodge like always. It's whatever. Now, this Gohan, by the way, 
He has a major flaw, which I identified, which is that he needs to be hit to build up, but he's built like cooler with additionals from his passive and additionals as he gets hit. It doesn't make any sense. He should be building up from attacking, not getting hit. Um, but I do feel comfortable about giving him full dodge. Now, I looked, the friend here, if you're not going to give Gohan full dodge, uh, you, you probably do want to go crits. I think crits is probably the way to go for this Gohan. Um, cause he can hit, like, his active skill is gonna hit way harder, um, than the Carnival Goku, right? So, you know, Gohan is stacking, 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 and then, you know, he could be really, really crazy, um, you know, it, it, you know, if you crit with the active skill. And Gohan doesn't have any built-in crits at all. Uh, on his active skill turn, he'll get the super effective against all types. Uh, but Goku has built-in crits, Gohan does not. So crits, I, I would say crits are a pretty good idea for Gohan. Okay, this is good. We'll be able to build up Piccolo um, nicely here, actually. Yeah, th th this is good. We could, we could build up this Piccolo. All right, let's give... Um, Gohan is the show... I'd love to give Vegeta and Trunks a stack, but, like, again, Gohan is the showcase unit. This is at 300k defense. We have Saiyan Warrior Race, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power, all activated from Vegeta and Trunks. Oh, we can get this stack. Uh, Vegeta and Trunks, by the way... They were preying on that unit's downfall, but they all end up taking massive L's. Vegeta and Trunks, what a shock. Two more carnival summonable top tier LRs, and Vegeta and Trunks work great with both. Thumbs up, guys. They're falling off any day now. Any day now, Vegeta and Trunks. They're out of here, guys. Any day now, they're gone. Uh, no, they're not. They're pretty freaking sick. Defense matters more than offense. Don't forget. The only time that's not true is if it's like, oh my god, offense, like Blue Kaioken, or like, you know, Cooler at his best, right, can do that too. Like, that's the only time ever where it's like, defense is not just like, obviously better than offense. All right, so we take that. So Gohan, what? He builds up uh, defense and key every time he gets hit. The other thing too with Gohan and having to build up and why it's just, it, it's actually just like horrible design for him is that, remember, he gets 30% damage reduction when he super attacks. So it's like, he does that, but we have to be running him in slot two. So it's not like we could just decide that he's going to get hit a bunch of the times. I think with Carnival Goku, because he's guarding, you can kind of like slot him wherever need be, including slot one. But Gohan, you you don't get to decide if he builds up, right? Because you're, you're not running him in slot one, you're running him in slot two or slot three. So I, that's... A flower go high. Alright, so we got that one playing as well. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, we're looking pretty good here. Um, we have several links activated for Gohan. The only thing, though, is that we're not... So, so we're not going to have his unit super attack activated here, which is, which is a problem for sure. Okay, um, so he's at 332, the, uh, not Link level 10 one is. We'll get LR Ultimate Gohan. Dude, this fraud still doesn't get to... Ah, damn, I hate that. That <laughs> damn LR Gohan. Uh, that did a lot. Ah, uh, no, no, he ate that, but okay, okay. He took damage from the normals, but that super attack wasn't that bad. All right, we have taken a lot of damage here. Um, perhaps, y you know what I should do? I think I'll actually keep... Uh, orange piccolo on rotation because he's already taken a bunch of attacks right so if we continue to get whittled down by cell max we can get his passive I, I mentioned this in the video for carnival goku in here but this fight more so than like any other now remember we we were we didn't get the 18 key super attack here so this gohan is not going to have um the 30 percent damage reduction you have to get the 18 key for that we didn't get it right it's so that, that's unfortunate. That, that's where our problem where, you know, he doesn't have key links and stuff like that. We have type advantage here, but... Yeah, 100k. That's... Okay, okay. Uh, this, again, like I was saying, th this fight is the best fight to potentially get things like Orange Piccolo, um, Yajirobe, in LR Cell transformation, uh, EJL Carnival Goku, right? Like, ability where he heals. Uh, because this Cell Max... He's not like the other bosses that just like, oh, Metal Cooler Core supers you, you're dead in one hit. It's He whittles us down, right? So uh, this is a fight where we could go for those types of abilities pretty easily. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so if we don't... Oh, 
oh, damn, we, we, that healing would be nice. But if we don't die here, um, Orange Piccolo will heal us. Now. Like, like, if we don't die this turn or next turn, Orange Piccolo is going to heal us. We have a very strong defensive turn. Gohan is not going to be guarding. But it's the STR phase, so we're fine. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, remember, AGL LR Gohan doesn't guard um, under... It's 58% HP? I believe, yeah. Kid Gohan's at 500k already. Yeah, I... Dude, these Carnival LRs, I, I just feel like they're so good. Like, I hate that they both have to get hit so many times. Go Again, Goku, it's less of a problem, but they are just so strong, right? Like, uh, we don't need to worry about an 18 key with Piccolo. That's not important. Let, let's just prioritize key for the showcase unit, right? We'll save Gohan's active skill as well. Uh, we'll do this. So, we will be able to get Orange Piccolo's passive next turn. This is crazy. Wow, yeah. For sure. How? What is it? It's seven attacks, and it's under 40% HP for Piccolo is what it is? Let me just double check. Seven attacks. Oh, it's under 30% HP. We might not get that. 30% is very difficult to do. That's not easy at all. Uh, now, remember, when we get this unit super with Piccolo... We are greatly stacking attack and regularly stacking defense. Also, remember that Gohan... Yep, that's why. That's boom. That's why. I think he probably would have ate it anyway, but... Uh, bro, like... I mean, listen. I, I understand it's easy to go, Oh my god, he put dodge. He's so stupid. When this when this theoretical situation happens, he's going to feel so dumb about the dodge. But, like, then I just go into the fights and they dodge super attacks. And, oh, I don't feel so stupid. You know, weird. Weird. Weird how that works. Now, Gohan... Probably... <laughs> Would have tanked that fine anyway, but uh, shh, 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 we're not going to talk about that. No, no, no. Okay, let's, um, we're not going to get Piccolo's ability, actually. <laughs> we're not getting Piccolo's ability. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I'll just, we'll just get same type orbs. If we get his ability, we get his ability. Let's not go for it. Um, we'll go ahead and do this right here. <laughs> yeah, th this is uh, a pretty strong defensive rotation. I believe AGL LR Gohan is not guarding, but he still has type advantage against STR Cell Max. Now, remember, AGL LR Gohan, this actually isn't the best fight for him. Because he, AGL LR Gohan, he is not great turn one. As I mean, as we saw, he took a lot of damage turn one, right? But this Gohan right here, he does build up very fast. So it's like typically by turn two, it's like he's tankier than like Carnival Goku. But it's like, you know, opening round this Gohan can struggle defensively. So this is not really the best fight for him, but his toolkit is still just so goddamn good, right? Um, I mean, we could, you know, even do his Super Saiyan 2 transformation in this fight, so of course we want to bring him. Yeah, the damage for Gohan, really not too crazy. I mean, he's got it. He has to get the hits, but you can't you can't control it, right? Again, it's just, it's out of your hands um, to decide where the enemy hits are going to be. Th this character would have just been so much better if he was building with these attacks. It just would have been... Oh, this is good to see. This is not Link level 10 like mine, but this is still good to see. 100k, huh? Really? We didn't get Piccolo's ability either. Really? 100k right there? Hmm. I thought he'd eat that better. I mean, uh, it, again, that wasn't my Gohan, right? Like, uh, my Gohan is definitely... Because th that that previous Gohan, he had no unit super attacks, right? All, which, you know, not only does Gohan stack attack more on the unit super attack, but he's stacking his defense more on the unit super attack as well. Okay, I, I actually was kind of hoping that he'd tank that a little bit better, but again, that wasn't... I do That, that wasn't the showcase character, which is, is this. My Gohan is the showcase unit. Let's do his active skill right here. Um, this is going to give us guaranteed, like, super effective against all types for the turn, which is useful since we're here on the physical phase. Um, and, you know, all of our greatly stacks uh, should really increase his damage here, too. So this will be good. Um, that's where crits can come really in handy too. Is critting on that active? Will, will, I'm sh I think will help it out a lot. It actually really will. 
Um, <clears throat> all right, this is a good turn, though. Um, we do have All in the Family activated, which, again, remember, Gohan last turn did not have All in the Family with Agile, Eller, Gohan, and Vegeta, and Trunks, right? Whereas mine does. All in the Family, of course, will be a huge defensive buff. This is actually pretty bad. Um, Orange Piccolo could, I think, potentially sell for us, actually, which is why... Well, I don't know if I want to say he'll sell, but uh, it's important, I think, to get Ultimate Gohan all of this right here. This will heal us up. I, Orange Pickle is not going to get one shot by this Cell Max. He should at least be able to survive. Um, that gives us the extra key, too, which is helpful. All right, let's see. That's a three dodge. Oh, my God. I, that still, I think, would have done like 200k damage. Oh, my God, dude. That's a three dodge. My Orange Pickle is built defensively. That's so good. That's so, that's so, that's, oh my god, that, that, what a creamy moment right there. Damn. It just, it just feels so good to be right, man. Everyone is just so, I open up Twitter and, oh, I'm the biggest idiot in the world. And then I play the game and, oh my god, it's almost like it works. I know what I'm doing. So crazy. Dodge this. Okay. Well, he didn't. Right. That, that, that would have, that would have put me over the top right there. How does he tank this? Wow. All right. That's good. It's, it's, I'm okay to dodge because we still got to see him go crazy right there. That's, imp that's good. That's impressive, right? Remember, on the 18 key, he gets the 30% damage reduction, which is so good. Ultimate Gohan could die right here, by the way. Don't you dare. Okay. <laughs> I would have been uh, not happy. I would have been not pleased. <gasps> oh, my God. We're like 3,000 HP away. Oh. Oh. We could have finished them with, with Super Saiyan 2. Could you have imagined... My, I, I actually, like, like my heart stopped for a second. I was like, oh, my God. We're going to get Super Saiyan 2 Gohan in here as well. But no, no, no. Okay, okay. All right, yeah. Um, LR could Gohan, I think, perform pretty well here. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how everything went, actually. Gohan is good. Um, I, I do really hate that design flaw of building. Like, they built him with additionals in his intro and stuff like that. As though additionals matter for him. But it's just like like almost worthless damage that kid gohan does not do damage with his additional supers it's it's worthless basically it, it, cooler you know can do a lot of damage but cooler is building up when he attacks not getting hit like gohan i i, I actually just that drives me crazy what this gohan is already like he's still top 10 but like he would be way better if he was building up from attacking and not being hit dude i'm serious He's already so good, but he could have been even better for sure. Yeah, this was a, this this ended up being a nice clean run. Besides the moment where LR fraud ultimate Gohan scared the piss out of me. Besides that, you know, uh, you know, we're uh, yeah we're, we're looking good right here. Not bad, not bad. Now remember, uh, it, just in this run, I've been linking Kid Gohan with um, the Orange Piccolo as well. Keep in mind that that's not really his best friend. Um, Gohan is going to work better with either the STR Piccolo or with World Tournament EZA Piccolo. But World Tournament EZA Piccolo still does not come out for many days. It, it, it's because it's like it's not even like World Tournament starts and oh we could EZA him. No no no, we have to grind World Tournament to EZA Piccolo. I, I do think it's a little bit acceptable though. Like it's like okay we got to grind World Tournament, but he's the best free to play unit in the game. So it's like okay, I, you grind World Tournament and we get like a summonable LR level character for free. I I mean, that's kind of okay. All right, right? Like, World Tournament's the worst ever, but if the free-to-play characters are actually good, I think it's less of an issue. And yeah, these World Tournament EZAs are very good. All right, now, remember, this Gohan is built offensively, unlike mine. Let's use his active skill, see what happens. Um, Keep in mind, though, that this guy has not been unit super attacking, though, unfortunately. But we, we let's, let's still... Uh, do his great up transformation. Let's let's go ahead and see if he could do more damage than mine does, being built offensively. He did, yeah. Look at that crit. Again, if you're not gonna go dodge like me, I think crit is the is the correct build for this Gohan. Um, his addition, additionals do nothing for this Gohan. He doesn't get defense in any meaningful way. He doesn't build up with additionals. 
I just don't really see any point to giving this Gohan additionals. You either give him dodge to build him defensively like me, or you give him crits to maximize his damage potential um, <clears throat> from his uh, a, uh, his active skill turn right here. I, I think that's that's the correct way to utilize this character because um, he doesn't have built-in crits at all. Most of these characters nowadays, I'm also very comfortable going dodge because they they have like you know built-in additionals and built-in crits and all this stuff, but. That Gohan doesn't have built-in crits, so I, I do think crits is potentially a good idea for him if you don't want to go dodge, because additionals do literally nothing for him, right? Which is very stupid. So, let me know what you guys thought. That was a nice, clean run. Again, Gohan is good, but Gohan, like, he's... he. Believe it or not, I think that we can get pieces that will make Gohan even better, right? Like, if we take a look at Gohan, you know, he... he like, there's no good TN. There's no good Krillin, right? There's no good... Uh, Dragon Ball superhero version of Goku, which would help this guy a lot because one of his 200% teams is Ultimate Gohans, right? Ultimate Gohan leads Hybrid Saiyans and then Dragon Ball Superhero, right? But none of the Gokus from Dragon Ball Superhero are really worth it. You could say Blue Kaioken, sure, but you need to bring a full Reps Universe 7 team, basically, right? Um, and it's like, you could bring LRUI Goku, I guess, which is fine, but, I mean, LRUI Goku is, you know, he's not as good as some of these newer, strong units. So it's like, we, we do... You know what? You know what would fix, would help Blue Kaioken and help this Gohan. The revive UI Goku that Legends just got. If Dokkan got that again, that massively buffs this guy and Blue Kaioken because that would make this guy better on Ultimate Gohan's team. Because this Gohan, you really do need to be getting that unit super. So you know, right now it's it's up to Piccolo, Goku units, and Dokkan Fest Yamcha because Krillin and Tien are dead. Right? So, it's like, it's up to those three. The good news is that Piccolo has literally never, at any point in Dokkan's history, been stronger than he is right now. Piccolo has three top-tier units, and Piccolo has three units that you can art, like, well, two of them are straight up, like, top ten contenders. And then, you know, Easy 8 World Turn Piccolo, I want to use him a bit more, but he's really good, too. So, it's like, Gohan, you know, he's got some pieces, but there's a little bit more he could get, and he could be a bit better, right? Or he can get a couple more 200% teams. Um, but I, I do think both of the Carnival LRs are super good. So, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Goodbye.